What's up, dirt nerds? Uh, it's me, just bringing you into the coin corner here. Just wanted to show you a little something I found today. Went to the store and went by my favorite little coin star. Usually find a couple good coins here and there. Today, I done good. Let me flip you around, show you what I found. All right, so I picked out the 1968. Looks like I believe that was an S. Let me scope it real quick. Yes, that is a 1968 S penny. And a slew of regular, just from 1990s, I think it was a 95, a 2004, 15, on up. Uh, three unreadables, like, like I can kind of almost make that one out, but the date is pretty chewed. Those two are completely chewed on both sides. There is no, there's no dating those coins at all. I think that one's got cement on it. And yeah, three silver dimes, a 59, a 62, and a 64. And I haven't really looked at them yet to check the mint mark. Let's see what mint we got here. Uh, I don't know where the mint is on these. I think it's on the other verse. Nope, it's on the reverse. Sorry. Here we go. Let's see, let's see if I can, there we go, that's much better, sorry everybody, there we go, that one was a D, that's actually a really pretty dime too, so that was a 1964 D, and we got a, here we go, go back up over here, that one is a 1962, that is, also a D. Nice coin. Oop, sorry. A little shaky. There we go. Put my finger out the way. Really nice little coin there. And a 59. Let's go ahead and flip her over and see what see what we got there. And another D. So three silvers. Then I also got two Washington Parks tokens. That one is Grayland Beach State Park. And this one is from Twin Harbor State Park. And I got a Canadian Penny, 1998. I got two Mexico Dollar Coins. And a 96 and a 2005. Uh, Mexico 50 cents. And then two standard clad. So, not a bad little score out of the coin star today. <coughs> Excuse me. And then last night, while perusing some pocket change, I pulled this one out of my pocket. Here, let me get her in focus there. Hopefully, I'm sure y'all can see this. That is a double die. That is a 1990D penny. And that is a double die. That is not mechanical doubling. I have seen enough mechanical doublings to know that is legit. That had me a little concerned at first, but seeing that double tail on that S, that's legit. This is this is actually this is a real double die. I found one. Sorry. Finger hit the hit the camera there. So anyway, yeah, so I save all my pennies, I go through and I have my board set up here and I break them down by by year and all that. And then I go from there to here, put them on the scope, throw them under there. Well, this was just some random pocket change from the end of the day. I was just throwing them under, you know, for the heck of it, I knew nothing. I don't have the cherry picker's guide for small cents. I've only got the one for the big cents. So this was just random. It was a 1990, and all my little, all my notes that I have for pennies, nothing said anything about a double die 1990. But I found one. That's a double die for sure. That is not mechanical. I am, like, really? Like, I had to bring the wife in. Like, I'm not, I'm not tripping. My eyes aren't going weird. 
You see double there, right? I see double there. I see two tails on that S. Two distinct separate tails. And under the loop, it's not flat. There's no shelf. It's two distinct tails. So I found a double die. Woohoo! How cool is that? I mean, you just, just literally, like, just pocket change. I was just going through just stuff from what I had at the end of the day from going and doing work and buying my lunch. And I come home and I just throw my pocket change on the table and I look at it under the scope. Just because you never know. You just never know. I found something. I'm, I, I don't know who to send it to or where to take it or what to do with it, but that is totally cool. That's an error coin that I found on my own in pocket change. Kind of excited. But this coin star score, the coin star score, that was the best. That was awesome. That double die is just, I, I don't know what else to say about that one. That's, that's just absolutely awesome. Um, but turning around and going into hit the coin star today, I actually really wasn't even expecting it to because the guy had just been there yesterday servicing the machine, getting it all cleaned. Um, and I went by there, you know, later on that night to see if anybody would use the machine. Nobody would use the machine. So I went by there today at my lunch to get a $1 scratch ticket. Just $1 scratch ticket. I had $6 in my pocket. I was going to keep the 5 for lunch tomorrow. Spend the dollar. Give me a scratchy. <laughs> so I went by the coins. You have to pass the coin star to get to the lottery machine. Well, I glanced down and sure enough... There is a, I could just see a, pile, a nice little pile in the tray, or in the uh, little return at the bottom. So I scooped that all out real quick, looked up top, and there was still, in, there was another penny still sitting in the dump tray, and another dime and a penny sitting behind the handle, or sitting right, you know, right behind the lift dump tray. So score, even more money. So I figured hell with it. I'm going to go ahead and spring for it. I bought the dollar ticket and I threw the other five bucks into it. It's like, you know what? Good luck day. I'm going for it. I won $5 on the dollar ticket. And I won $20 on the $5 ticket. A great day. Absolutely fantastic day. So anytime you, especially I love coin stars. Uh, anytime I know there's, a, there's one in a store, I always try to make a habit of going by and checking to see if, to see if it's if there's anything in there, I, even if it's just a penny, I, I stopped by one at going by the wall in the Walmart the other day, and it was there was the button cell, you know, a little watch battery thing. I still check, just cause. You, 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 I mean, come on, find coins, you find stuff. Free money, hey, free money is money. I'm never gonna complain about free money. All right, dirt nerds. I just wanted to bring you in and show you what I what I found today. I I was kind of excited, you know. I love I love the foreign coins and finding those park tokens. I've never found anything like those before. I find all kinds of car wash tokens, but I've never seen state park tokens like that before. That those are pretty dang cool. And the silver dimes, come on, silver. And you know the rest of the clad, or you know in the in the pennies, what not that old sixty eight that s. 68 that'll be hung on to because it's you know it's an older penny and it pretty much anything older than me i'm cool with it because that, that means it's pretty close to being 50. no i'm not that close but i'm, I'm almost there so but anyway uh any comments about that double die please let me know please speak up if you don't like this video if you're gonna give me a thumbs down at least give me a reason why so that next time I can fix it so that you will give me that thumbs up uh, if you want to give me a thumbs down just give me a thumbs down Sorry, I see Meh, it happens you know can't please everybody all the time I guess and I'm not trying to please everybody all the time uh, no that's a lie I do I, I try to please everybody all the time so if you if you don't like what I'm doing you want to see something better uh, leave a comment tell me what you want to see I'll see if I can accommodate all right, dirt nerds, have a good night, good night, good day, great afternoon. Wherever you are, go dig in the dirt. Go check your coin star. See if there's anything sitting in that return tray. Go, you know, buy yourself some pay dirt. Go hunt some rolls. 
Whatever you do to go find your treasures, go do it and have a good one.